Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever. Welcome to our virtual classroom. Wow, you are now in P6. Congratulations for being able to pass P1 to P5 and we're so excited to have you in our class. My name is Teacher Bry and I'll be your teacher for online classes and I will also be your teacher come July when we meet at school. I have been teaching with P6 for two years. So this is my third year with P6 and I'm very excited to have you in P6. But for now, we're gonna have our class online and I'm more excited to do that because you can just stay there at home. I can just stay here in my room and at least we can still continue learning. So I hope you don't play around. You should stop playing with your mobile phone while listening to me. You can eat, you can drink. If you wanna go to the toilet, you can pause and do your thing in the bathroom, but make sure that you try your best to understand our lesson for today. All right, so welcome to our P6 virtual classroom. Okay, so first, you can see the pictures, yeah? So we have here four pictures and two numbers. These things are about myself, teacher Brian. So what I want you to do now for one minute, what I want you to do is to think on how these things are associated to me. I'll give you an example. So what picture is this? Right, pasta, some sp spaghetti, that's also correct. Spaghetti and tomato sauce, also correct. So pasta is my favorite food. Now, Think of the relationship of these other pictures and information about me. So I'll give you one minute to do that. <clears throat> This one first, PUBG Mobile. So what do you think PUBG Mobile is about? Correct, that's my favorite mobile game. So my favorite mobile game is PUBG Mobile. What is your favorite mobile game? <clears throat> you don't play mobile games, that's very good. So what do you play? You read books, that's so good. For those who play mobile games, then if you play PUBG, then you can add me. I will tell you my ID later. <clears throat> okay, so how about this one? 3rd August. Ah, uh, no, that is not my birthday. The correct answer? That is my first day in Thailand. So I've been here for, wait, that's 2013. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I've been here for six years, since August 3rd, 2013. So this coming August, this will be my seventh year in Thailand. Wow, that's a very long time. My first, my first school was in Nakhon Panom. You know that? It's in Isan, that's very near Laos. I stayed there for around, I think six months. <clears throat> September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, six to seven months. And after that, I moved to Chiang Rai, where I stayed for two months, uh, no, two years. And then Chiang Mai. So I've been here in Chiang Mai for four years. Is that correct? I've taught in P4 for two years. Yes, I'm going five years here in Chiang Mai. All right, 
So next one, this one, 32. What do you think is the relationship of 32 to me? My age? Well, nuh-uh. I am 22 years old. So that's not my age. <laughs> You're right! How did you know? 32 is my waistline. So waistline is this one. Oh, my waistline is 32. But before the lockdown or before the quarantine, this was 30. So right now, by just staying at home for more than a month already, it has become 32. How about you? Did you get bigger or smaller during this quarantine period? <clears throat> I hope you maintain the same weight. <laughs> All right, next one. This is the flag of, right, UK. Some people say UK, Great, Bit Great Britain, they're all correct. United Kingdom, yeah. London, no, not London. London is the capital of UK, just like Bangkok is the capital of Thailand. So, oh, no, I am not from the UK. No, I'm not English. I'm not from Britain. Some people say Great Britain. No, I'm not from the Great Britain. Oh, nobody gets it right? <clears throat> this is the country that I want to visit next. So I love traveling. I've been around Asia for now, and my next dream destination is the United Kingdom. I want to go there because I want to see the historical landmarks. I love history, I love architecture and the huge buildings, and I thought that's a very good starting point when I want to travel around Europe. So after UK, I might go to uh, France and then move on from there on. And hopefully I can do it soon. Have you been to the United Kingdom? Some of you, yeah? You should share with me some tips on how to travel to the UK. You're so lucky. All right, and the last one. <clears throat> no, I have no car. I cannot drive. Oh, cars. Oh, yeah, that's also from cars. But nope, that's not my favorite cartoons. So that is my favorite color. So what's my favorite color? Blue. <laughs> okay, so this roughly sums up about myself. And how about you? Maybe you want to make something like this that could represent the things that you like, you like to do, and about yourself. <clears throat> but because you're now in P6, it'll be nice if you can put it in a sentence. So here, my name is Brian Arthur. You can call me Teacher Bri. Oh, not Teacher Bye Bye, but Teacher Bri. Not Bye Bye. Bri. 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 <laughs> Okay, I like music, arts, culture, and food. Oh my gosh, who does not like food? My favorite food, like, like I said, pasta. I also love uh, Thai food. For Thai food, my favorite is Tom Gakai. Tom Gakai, the, the chicken soup with coconut. Yeah, and I love traveling, whether near or far. So... I'd love to travel to somewhere near like Chiang Rai or Doi Intanon <laughs> or just around the city of Chiang Mai or as far as Malaysia, Japan, you know, up to the next, to the other countries. <clears throat> and gosh, I hate snakes a lot. So I don't want to see it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to have a pet snake. Do you have a pet snake? I don't want to go to your home if you have a pet snake. Okay, so for English class, I want you to have an English notebook. One English notebook for English class. Do not mix it with other subjects. And you use this to copy your important notes. So if you heard something that you think is important, so feel free to write it in your notebook. 
and also please use that to write the new words or the new vocabularies that you have learned and that will be very helpful if you forget the word and you cannot remember what it is you can go back to your notebook and you can check on that okay and then when we go back to school we're gonna need also one notebook for dictation but oh my gosh no dictation this time lucky you <clears throat> or you want dictation we can have dictation too so we're gonna use three books in class you still have notebooks but no problem I'm gonna show them all here we will have the everybody up student book so sometimes when I write homework or things that you have to open or do I will just put EUSB so that means everybody up student book and of course we have the everybody up note workbook I'm sure you know the everybody up books you've been using that since before right so for short we're just gonna put EUWB and then we're gonna have reading for comprehension we have like very nice stories here which you can learn a lot from and yeah it's the red book <clears throat> what's the shortcut reading for compre or RC maybe yeah I can put RC so these are the things that we're gonna need in English class all right so for today we're gonna learn <laughs> for today we're gonna learn the different classroom rules okay and you make sure that you understand the do's and the don'ts in classroom rules what are the things that you can do and what are the things that you cannot do so that's part of classroom rules and of course you must know how to follow classroom rules all right one second <clears throat> we're back <laughs> okay so this is what we're gonna do today are you ready I'm sure you are. So first, let's look at this picture. Can you see it? <clears throat> Is it clear? All right. So in this picture, tell me what you see. There are numbers here. Let me move a bit so you can see them better. All right. There you go. <clears throat> okay, I think we can do this angle. So there are numbers here. Can you see? If not, then I can just point. So what can you see? this two people are doing or this one yeah he's talking on the phone how about this one number four these two students right they are talking how about this one number two can you see clearly <clears throat> take a look he's eating what what is he eating gum right he's eating bubble gum <clears throat> how about this one number three Oh, reading a, a book? No. Is this a book? Look closely. Newspaper. Right. He's reading newspaper or magazine, probably. How about number six? Is it clear enough? Yeah. He's writing something on his desk. Oh, my gosh. Here. You can't write something there. <clears throat> number two. What is she doing? Listening to the music. And number eight, he arrived late. Okay, so he's late in class. How about number seven? Well, I'm not sure if number seven is going to class or not. Maybe he's running away. So, question. Do you like to have this kind of classroom? Oh my gosh, for me, no. I don't want to have a classroom with students like this. And I'm sure you don't want to, right? why right you cannot study you cannot listen and you cannot learn anything if your friends are very busy doing so i think you can just do this if it's your free time or your break time but definitely not this writing on your desk right mm -hmm. okay now let's look at this next picture <clears throat> What can you say to the picture? What can you say to the picture? What can you say about the picture? Right? The students are listening. What else? 
they are quiet, right? Look, they're very quiet. They are paying attention. They're listening to the teacher. Okay, do you like to have this classroom? Oh, sure you do. I also love to teach in this kind of classroom. Now, if we compare classroom A and classroom B, which classroom do you want to have when we start school in July? Who says they want classroom A? Oh my gosh, I hope nobody raises their hand. Who says they want classroom B? Very good. We love to have classroom B so the teacher can teach well and the students can understand and clearly and can listen and can clearly understand the lesson. Now, like I said, our lesson today is about classroom rules and before we start, I have a video to show you, so watch this video. Hey guys! It feels great to be back in school again. Right, Peter? Uh... What's wrong, Peter? Well, it just feels funny being back in school after such a long summer. There's so many rules and I'm not sure I remember them all. <gasps> I know! We can make a game out of it to help you remember. Welcome to... The Back to School Game Show! My name is Maria and we're playing... Question is, what do you do when you want to speak in class? <gasps> oh. Peter, you've got it. Go. Raise your hand and wait to be called on. Yes, you're right. You should always raise your hand and wait for the teacher to call on you. Peter gets a point. Next question. You are on the playground and see someone not being very nice to someone else. What is that called? D. It's called bullying. Very good! And what do you do when you see bullying? Ooh! Chris? Always tell an adult. Like a playground monitor or a teacher. That's right. Being a bully isn't cool. But being a good friend is... Wow! You're all tied! Now... This is the last question. Are you ready? Yes! Okay. What words are polite words to use every day? Peter, do you have an answer? Hmm. Uh, uh, could I have a moment to think about it, please? Please. I know the answer. The answer is please! That's right! Oh, man. I was going to say thank you. And I was going to say excuse me. Yes, thank you and excuse me are both polite words, too. But Peter buzzed in first, so he gets the point and wins the game! Which means, Peter, you're ready to go. Peter, I knew you knew the school rules. Thanks, Maria. Hey, guys, I have one last question for us. Who's ready to start the new year? Raise your hand. <laughs> 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 All right, did you love the video? I'm sure you enjoyed it. So I have here a few questions for you about the video. Are you ready to answer? Are you ready? All right, who are the characters in the story or in the video? Who are the characters? Characters meaning the people in the story. There are four of them. Give me one. Peter, that's correct. Who else? 
Maria, that's correct. Who else? D, very good. And the last one, Chris, good job. So there are Peter, Maria, D, and Chris. Now, what did they do to help them remember the classroom rules? Right, they played a game. Now, what is the name of the game? You're right, back to school game show. And who was the game master of the game show? Like the host or the MC of the game show? You're correct, that's Maria. Now, what is the name of the game? So the name of the game show is Back to School Game Show. What did they play? <laughs> right, Back to School Game. Okay, and finally, who won the game? You're right, that was Peter. Wow, very good. <clears throat> it means you really understood the video. Okay, so just like the kids, I'm sure that you already know the classroom rules because you have been doing them for the last six years or seven years. So you just need a very few reminders to help you remember them again. Because I'm sure after what, two months or three months of being at home, enjoying summer and not going to school, I'm sure you forgot about them. So that's our first lesson for this virtual class, our <laughs> classroom rules. All right. Let's all read classroom rules. Very good. So what do you think? What classroom rule do you think this is? You're right. Be punctual, be punctual, be on time, or don't be late. So all these three have the same meaning. Be on time, or don't come to classroom late. If your class is one o'clock in the afternoon, and you come to the class one o one, is that being punctual? Is that being on time? No, it's not. So you are late. So remember, don't be late in class. So it's best that you are in the classroom five minutes before your time. So you can have time to relax. Just sit down, get your books, or prepare your homework, get your notebooks, and put them on your desk. Okay, number two, what classroom rule do you think this is? Huh, speak in English only. Of course, this is English class. We are all expected to speak English because that way we can practice our speaking. If you don't know some words or if you're not sure on what you're saying, there's no problem. Just try and speak it out, and Teacher Bry will try to help you. Teacher Bry will under will try to understand what you're saying, and Teacher Gigi, Teacher Dao, or Teacher Oi will or will help us understand you. So just try to speak English. Let's go to number three. Right, like in the game show, they said you have to raise your hand when you want to speak or when you want to answer. Why do we have to do that? Why do you have to raise your hand before you want to speak? Exactly, so the teacher can understand you. If everybody will just speak and talk at the same time, I don't know who is speaking and I cannot give points, right? But there are times when I want you to speak together, like for example, when we have to read something, like 
Raise your hand to speak. Let's all read. Very good. Now let's go to number four. <clears throat> what classroom rule do you think this is? It's such a cute dog. Do you have a dog like that? Oh, there he goes. It's very easy to see now. What did he do? He sat down on the chair. So you should also sit down quickly and stay seated. Stay seated meaning just stay put on your seat and do not stand up or walk around. Okay, <laughs> let's read number four. Sit down quickly and stay seated. Very good. Let's go to number five. <clears throat> mm. Look there. Right. Look, look means you have to pay attention. Pay attention meaning you look at the teacher when the teacher is teaching. But that is not only not only looking, but at the same time, listening. So you have to look, listen, and think. That is the meaning of pay attention. Okay, and also participate. What does participate mean? Very good. You answer when the teacher is asking a question. So you raise your hand and you answer. Also, when the teacher, when, when you have a game in class, then you go and volunteer and join the game. Or if you have to make something, then you do it. So that is participate. So again, look, listen, and think. That's pay attention. And participate means you have to be active in class. Answer questions, join the game, and do what everybody is doing. Okay, let's move on to number six. What's that? Positive and polite language only. So what does it mean? Positive meaning something good positive language say only good things or positive things something that could cheer you up something that could encourage you something that could make you feel okay and make you feel good and make your friends feel good and feel okay like for example your friend does not know what to do with the seat work so you can tell him, you can do it. Just read carefully and ask the teacher if you don't know anything, if you don't understand some words, okay? And for example, your classmate gave an answer and then he cannot speak very well and he did not pronounce the word correctly. So do not laugh. We do not laugh on our classmates. Rather, we say, it's okay, come on, you can do it. Just speak, just speak. So we encourage our friends and classmates. So that's positive language. All good, all right. And polite language. Polite language. Pewa supa. Right. So we just use polite language to our friends because we are polite people and that is a good thing to do. So what are the polite words? Please, thank you, I'm sorry, you're welcome, and all those polite words we will study more later. Okay, so number six, let's read. Positive and polite language, please. Very good. Now let's go to this one, mm. Harry Potter, what are they doing? Ah, respect other people's things and respect each other. So how do we respect other people's things? Meaning, we do not touch things that is not ours. Example, this is not their book, so they should not touch it. 
because you have to respect other people's things if it's not yours. You have to ask permission to borrow. Example, can I borrow your pen, please? Okay, but if the owner is not there, leave it there. Do not touch it. That is not yours. And of course, that is part of respecting each other. So we use polite words to respect each other. We think of good things about other people. So that is respecting. Okay, let's move on to number six. SpongeBob is here. What is SpongeBob doing? Cleaning. So keep the classroom clean. Oh wait, <clears throat> let's go back here first. We forgot to read. Let's read respect other people's things and respect each other. Very good. Okay, now let's move on to SpongeBob cleaning his room because we want our classrooms to be clean. So always keep the classroom clean. Very easy to understand. Let's read. Keep the classroom clean. Very good. Oh! <gasps> I love Korean noodles, jajamyeon. <laughs> right, but sorry, we cannot eat in class. We cannot drink or eat gums. We can drink water, but we cannot bring our smoothie or other drinks in the classroom aside from our water in the bottle, okay? We cannot have water in cups because that might spill because we'll be moving a lot with games and activities that might spill and you have to clean the floor and it will take time. So it's better if we do not eat or drink or chew gum in the classroom. Is that okay? If you want to eat in the classroom, make sure everybody eats, including teacher bride. For example, you want to eat cupcake, you must give cupcakes to everybody. So everybody will eat. And after eating, we go back to our lesson. So let's read number nine. No food, drinks, or gum. Very good. Number 10. Oh! <laughs> right. Put away mobile phones in class. So we don't allow the use of cell phones or mobile phones in the classroom. So keep it in your bags, keep it in your locker, or maybe in your bag. Not in your pocket, because if it's in your pocket, it will be, you'll be tempted to get it. So make, I think it's better to put it in your bags and turn it off, so, or put it in silent mode, so we won't be disturbing the class. So let's read number 10. Put away mobile phones in class. So put away means put it away. All right, or keep it not not with you not in not on your desk okay so keep it next one <clears throat> this is the classroom rule that I want everybody to follow I'm very strict with this and I really hate people who are copying and cheating so number 11 no copying, no cheating. No copying of homework, no copying of answers. Because your friend spent time to study, spent time to listen, spent time to learn so he can answer the tests and he can answer the homework. So you must also do the same. Spend time to study, spend time to listen, spend time to work hard so you can answer the questions. And that copying is also the same as cheating. Cheating is when you copy answers, copy homework, or you cheat your way. You don't follow the correct process to reach the end, okay? So we don't want this to happen. Let's read number 11. No copying, no cheating. Very good. I think you know this. Right. Keep quiet and listen when someone is talking. So if the teacher is talking, please keep quiet. If your classmate is answering, 
also please keep quiet so we can all understand each other. So when it's your time to stand up and answer and talk or speak, everybody will also listen to you. We cannot hear and understand everybody if everybody is talking at the same time, right? All right, so let's read number 12. Keep quiet and listen when someone is talking. Very good. Now, this is my favorite. You know what it is? Have fun. English class is supposed to be a fun class. I want you to have fun and enjoy English, enjoy the lessons, enjoy our activities. So we take studying seriously, but we also want to enjoy while doing it. Enjoying does not mean not doing homeworks or not doing worksheets or not answering the test questions. Having fun means you enjoy learning because you know that after you learn, you have something new, you learn something new, which you can use in the future. And it can make you a better English speaker and it can make you a better student, which means you can have a better future. So have fun and enjoy because it can make learning easier. If you're happy with what you learn, if you're happy with what you're doing, it's easier for things to get into your brain and easier to understand the lesson. So try it. Before we start the class, think that, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a great class and I'm excited to do it. So you will just realize later how easy it has become for you to understand and learn. All right, so we have 13 classroom rules all in all. You can pause the video and copy this in your notebook because after this, we're going to have a short game where I will ask you what classroom rules or what classroom rule did the person in the picture not follow. So if you have it in your notebook, it will be easy for you to answer the question. But if you can remember, that will be very good. So try first to, to answer it by yourself without looking at your notebook. And then later on, you can check it. You can play the video back again and you can look at your notebook for the correct answer. All right, so are you ready to do it? Let's go to our... What's the name of our show? <clears throat> the Back to School Game Show? No. The Classroom Rules Game Show. And I'm your Game Master, Teacher Bry. So, the instruction is just simple. Wait, you can see. Okay, there you go. What classroom rule did he not follow? Okay, there will be a picture and tell me which classroom rule he did not follow and you must tell why. Okay, I think you have around um, 9 to 10 questions for this and this will be our practice if you really understood the classroom rules that we discussed earlier. Are you ready? Let's start. <clears throat> Number one, this is the picture. And which classroom rule did he not follow? A, B, C, D. I don't need to read each one. Just read it yourself and tell me the correct, choose the correct answer and write it on the paper, on your paper. So later on, you can check how many points you got. <clears throat> Maybe I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> correct answer is... Speak English only. Did you get it right? Then good job. Now, next question. Why? He was speaking Spanish. Te amo. Okay? So we cannot speak Spanish in class. We cannot speak Thai. I cannot speak Filipino in class as well. So we all try to speak English. All right? Let's go to number two. That's the picture. A, B, C, 
こいつ。What's your answer? C. B. Punctual. On my way, meaning he is late. He's running late to class. So be punctual is also the same as be on time or don't be late. Very good. If you got that right, good job. Let's go to number three. That's a picture. I don't like it. No, I don't want to. No. No. I don't want to. I don't like it. No. Which classroom rule did he not follow? <laughs> Correct. B. Positive language, please. So we should all be positive, optimistic. Think of think of the good things only. All right. So I like it. I can do it. I want it. We all want all our languages to be positive because positive language can give positive results as well. Now let's go to number four. That's a question. What did he do? Oh my gosh. So these are examples. For example, these pictures are in the classroom. Okay? For example, they are in the classroom. A, B, C, D. Correct answer. Keep the classroom clean. So after you blew um, coffee or choco, you have to clean the classroom. So make sure <coughs> that's what I was saying before. Do not use or do not bring cups in the classroom because they might spill and then you have to clean it. So if it happens, then make sure to clean it. So keep the classroom clean. Okay? Now let's go to number five. Correct answer? Right. Pay attention and participate. Do not sleep in class, okay? Or, or put eyeglasses, which shows that your eyes are open as if you are looking and listening, but actually in, inside or behind the eyeglasses, you are sleeping. And some might be awake with their eyes wide open, but they don't listen or they don't think. So we want our students, I want you to pay attention. Again, pay attention means look, listen, and think, okay? And participate. So raise your hand to answer. Even though you are not sure with the answer, just raise your hand. If it's, a, if it's not correct, no problem. I can still give you points for that. What's important is you try to speak in English and you try to speak your mind, all right? Now let's go to number six. If you're in the classroom. If my time is too fast, you can pause to give you time, more time to think before I give you the answer, which is Put away mobile phones in class. That's very good. You got it right. If your answer is A, that's correct. Put away meaning keep it. Okay? Put it right there, not with you. Or keep it. Good. Now, we, got, we have now six questions. How many points do you have so far? Six? Very nice. Let's go to number seven. Hmm. I can see some lettuce and to oh sorry you cannot see. <laughs> I can see some tomatoes and lettuce right there. That's a healthy sandwich. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Three. I think this is very easy, right? No food, drinks, or gum in class. We have break times. I mean, we have. You have to eat breakfast before we start the class in the morning. 
so you don't get hungry. And then we have break times. So before playing, make sure to take your break, eat snacks, and then we have lunch time. And we also have another break time in the afternoon. So there is no reason for you to get hungry in class. So please, no eating. But if there are times when you are very, very hungry, just tell teacher Bry and we will see what we can do. Let's go to number eight. <clears throat> Remember what I said about <laughs> Correct answer is <laughs> Respect other people's things. So respecting other people's things meaning you take care of them as well. For example, you borrowed the pen of your friend. So take care of it and make sure you don't break it or make sure you don't lose it. If you break or lose it, you have to buy a new one for your friend and you have to say sorry for that, okay? But make sure do not touch things which are not yours and do not break or lose them because it's important to respect other people's things, okay? If you got it right, good job. Now let's go to question number nine. <clears throat> oh, this is my hatest. I don't like this the most. If you do this, I wouldn't like it very much. A, B, C, D. Correct answer? Speak English only? No. Sit down quickly and stay seated. They are already sitting down. Correct answer? No cheating, no copying. Or no copying, no cheating. So this is an example of cheating. I wanna, I wanna poke her eyes for cheating. Uh -huh. Okay, so never do that in class. My kai, never. All right, number 10. Last question, I think. Keep the classroom clean. I don't see them littering or throwing something. Be on time. They are already in the classroom. So sit down quickly and stay seated. So if you have class, like you think the teacher is coming or the teacher has arrived in the classroom, sit down quickly and stay seated. Stay seated means do not keep on standing and going around. Just stay put on your seat. All right. So those are our exercise for classroom rules. Here they are again. Feel free to read them. You can copy them in your notebook. If you have, I hope you already have your notebooks with you. If not, then you can keep the video and then copy them when you get your notebooks later on. Okay? So, classroom rules are important to give, to set standards and to set rules in the classroom so that we can have a peaceful and organized class and everybody can understand the lesson. So just imagine if we have no classroom rules, you are free to do whatever you want. You, you don't you, you can stand up and play around each time. You can eat any time. You can copy and cheat. You can destroy things. There will be no order. So classroom rules are the same with the laws in our society. Just like when the government said that we have to stay at home for quarantine, that is a rule. So we follow that so there will be order in our society. We follow classroom rules so there will be order in the classroom so everybody can live, live peacefully and everybody can learn properly and can hear and listen to the teacher. All right? So, I'm going to see you again on our next class and I hope you learned something new today. Stay home, stay safe, and... Get ready for our 
new lesson next time. So my name is Teacher Bry. Thank you for listening today. And it has been a great lesson. <sighs> I'll see you again later in our virtual classroom. Have a good day. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Have a good whatever. Bye!